evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to CBS 2 News, now streaming on CBSN New York. We've only seen it once before, fierce winds grounding balloons during the Thanksgiving Day Parade. It would certainly bum everyone out. Those inflated characters are crowd favorites. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch live now on the Upper West Side, where the balloons are ready to go. We'll see what Mother Nature has to say. Well, guys, they are inflated, but will they fly? That is a very important question here tonight. As you said, these are a crowd favorite, these helium-filled high flyers. And if high winds keep them grounded tomorrow, it will be only the second time in parade history it's happened. Balloons first took flight in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1927. It seems Mother Nature first gave handlers a run for their money just two years later. Historic video from 1929 shows balloons weaving and bobbing as winds crank across the parade route. One rolls into the crowd, forcing folks to retreat. Even the balloon looks concerned. And now they're all waiting for Mickey himself. Here he comes. In 1934, Mickey Mouse had no trouble making his debut. But since then, winds have gotten in the way of a flawless show. In 1971, the balloons were grounded for the very first time as gusts peaked at 63 miles per hour. Hour. The gigantic characters took to the skies in 97, but winds proved to be too powerful for some handlers. The cat in the hat hit a light pole. It broke off and crashed to the ground. Four people were hurt. One woman was in a coma for a month. That next year, a wind threshold was set. Tomorrow, the forecast comes sadly close to the limits set in 1998. Sustained winds cannot exceed 23 miles per hour, gust 34. We'll make a game day or a time decision regarding the heights of the balloons. Chief of Patrol Rodney Harrison says if the balloons get the go-ahead, supervisors assigned to each one will monitor winds using seven anemometers along the route. Balloon height will be adjusted depending on wind speed. All right, so you heard them. The balloon heights will be adjusted based upon the speed. And we know that all these little faces who are actually watching the parade tomorrow want to see them up in the air. Game day decision, though, we'll be watching very closely. We're live on the Upper West Side. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. All right.